Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about self-taught programmers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I know and I also understand why software engineers and computer science graduates tend to minimize self-taught programmers. But do you believe that there can be cases where someone that, uh, that where someone can become a good developer even without an academic background? I don't think or I don't believe I know I know I know and anybody who says that, that this is not true is lying to you I know that you can become a good software developer without an academic background and the reason why I know that is because I've worked with people like that in every job I've ever had it's it's not a question of believing, it is a question of knowing. The idea that you have some upper hand because you have a computer science degree is only true uh, depending on who you are and the education you had and the, like the, the work situation you find yourself in. An example would be that if you have a computer science degree, well, yes, that's going to give you some in-depth knowledge but I mean if you are really shitty at coding someone who invested the same amount of time being self-taught I mean the the stuff that you learned in in the university there's nothing like all of that information unless you didn't know that is on the internet literally all of it nothing you have ta been taught is mystic in any way and so if you're dealing with someone who is self-taught and they went through the same content well, I'm very sorry to say that they're going to have the same knowledge that you did. It's just that they're not going to have a piece of paper that you probably paid for. Well, depending on where you live, uh, you paid a lot of money for. That piece of paper is valuable. It's very valuable in the beginning of your career because there is a prejudice against self-taught developers, as you very accurately have, have, uh, have uh, picked up on. Uh, both from other developers and from the companies themselves because they want serious engineers and that is not because there's no self-taught developer out there worth anything worth worth their salt it's about confidence it's similar to uh, literally anybody can today become a sales representative literally anybody because the act of doing sales is at the conceptual level something as, as trivial as talking to people the problem is that it actually is very complicated to be a good sales rep and so companies usually when they're hiring a salesperson are looking for things such as education or prior experience things that gives them confidence that if I'm gonna hire this person because it costs money to hire people well then I'm gonna be fairly confident that this person is gonna be able to do the job and that is what your degree is there to do it's not a promise that you're gonna be a better coder than everybody else it's just a paper that you have have earned and that can prove and that's why the school even matter that's why people raise their eyebrows if you go to MIT or whatever because like, I mean do you guys do you, don't you understand that the university they they, in, they it's just like as with Google or any bigger company they invest a lot in their brand because they know that if they are perceived as prestigious more people are going to apply and they can earn money from that and you want to, and then you want to get your education there because you know that the companies are going to go, oh, cool, you went to this really fancy school. That doesn't mean that you're a good programmer. You just have a piece of paper from that school, and th th that's why I want you to understand that uh, there is definitely a trend. On average, if you have a computer science background, you can absolutely, in many cases be a little bit better off in the start of your career at the very least uh, than self-taught programmers but that is not a guarantee and that is the thing that I don't like because the the uh, the situation that we create is this typical generalization thing that most of us do where we look at what happens we look at the negative parts that we can find about whatever concept it is regardless of it is religion or education or social status and so forth and then we just kind of broad stroke it and say well well a lot of people are this way yeah I'm just gonna default now to assume that everybody is that in the, this way so it creates a different sort of problem what I know for a fact is that the self-taught developers in some cases absolutely they are not as 
well educated as the people with a computer science degree. The thing that is good to know about that is, however, that the longer you work, the less relevant that becomes. Because if you work in a serious software uh, company and you work as a professional developer, the things that are useful to you to know about from the computer science degree, you're going to have to organically learn. Because the, and that's the thing. Everything that you learned in the university is actually not useful. A lot of it is, but not all of it. And the pieces that actually matter, you're not going to get all of them from the university. A lot of the stuff in terms of tooling and work practices, you can only learn yourself or learn on the job and that's where the self-taught developers actually might have an upper hand on you uh, so it's you you really only have you're just approaching a fit i would say you you approach the the um, the process of becoming a software developer from two different angles and in many cases you will have 50 percent each depending on if you're a self-taught developer or if you are a computer science graduate or so, so forth you're just get, getting 50 percent in the start of things and it's only when you're actually doing the work where you're starting to real uh, you, you will start to connect these two things and realize that well actually all these th courses i took on i don't know let's just take functional programming and so forth it's actually not so relevant now that i'm a java developer like uh, actually these things here are much more relevant or so forth and it, it, it is th as long as you work you will start uh, you will start to realize that the actual work that you do is it, it's not the same thing as just having the education and the further you work the more you will be capable of you know, of doing you you will be able to do the job because the education is just a preparation to do the job and the job itself is the real thing and that's the beautiful part about actually doing the work if you do it long as long as you can you can survive in the industry you will pick up all the things that you were missing out on when you were educated the computer science geeks uh, or the graduates they're going to have to learn all the tools and the people who are self-taught, they're going to have to learn about uh, polymorphism and uh, big O notations and so forth. They're going to be forced to do it because they're going to face challenges in the work that they do that will force them to learn that. And that's the real thing. The, the, the way that you start out your career doesn't really matter apart from that it gives you different opportunities and like how likely you are to get into the industry. Because after a while of doing this thing, if you, you're in the industry and you can survive, most of the time you will learn all the things and sure in some cases you will absolutely have holes i'm not trying to say that someone who's self-taught is just always equal to someone who has an official education because that's just not it's just not true but for the most part it's not that relevant and you will find very often that even people who have an official education they will not even if they have the fanciest degree in the world they will not necessarily be a better software developer than people who have no education or someone who has a lesser education i can give you examples like um, i'm not going to mention any names but i have i work with coworkers who have the literally they have masters master degrees in mathematics and in computer science and they work they went to the f the best colleges and they can still not outproduce some of the people that i work with that went to like a I'm not saying a boot camp, but like a shorter education, and in, in one or two cases, it's actually a self-taught developer who can produce better results. So there, there's no guarantee, and the you have to understand that I know for a fact that a self-taught developer can uh, can do just as well as someone with an official education. It's it's such a subjective thing to say that one is better than the other. You just have to understand the 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 pros and the cons of each approach. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't believe that you can be a good software developer without going to a university. I know that you can. It really, because at the end of the day, there's nothing in the university that you can't learn by yourself. The only thing the university is going to give you is a piece of paper and usually a lot of structure and so forth. Like there is a, there are a lot of benefits to the university. I'm not trying to dismiss that. And so if you can, I mean, I personally believe if you have the ability or the opportunity to go to a university and you want to try it out, try it out. There are a lot of benefits. But that doesn't mean that you are dead in the water if you don't have that education, because all you're really doing is preparing to do the work. And if you, as long as you can get the opportunity to do the actual job, that is where you will actually learn how to do the job. Everything else is just a preparation. And the challenges that you face in actual work is the thing that your ultimate goal is about. 
your ultimate goal is to be a real software developer and nothing is everything else is a substitute everything is just preparation for doing that job and some in many cases some things that you learn in the university won't not all of it is going to be relevant and in many cases when you're self-taught you're going to miss some stuff that you didn't get by going to the university but that doesn't mean that you can't discover that later on and then bridge that and there's that's the that's how you become a really good software developer you do your the best you can and learn as much as you can to start things off and then you try to become a software developer you become one and then you continue that learning process and i promise you the longer you stay in the industry the better you're going to get and the less relevant how you started is going to be have a great day